Hi, my name is Angus Ho with Daddy Debt, a part of the Ash Management Group. I want to show how you can budget as a full-time engineer, make real estate investments, and live an exceptional family life as a dad. So come along with me in this journey of wealth. Welcome back YouTube. I want to thank every one of you for supporting my channel so far. If you've already subscribed, thank you for subscribing. And if you're new here, welcome home. I want to make this channel your channel. In my channel, I talk about engineering, real estate investing, and tips about budgeting as a dad. If those topics speak to you, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button because your support would be much appreciated. So let's get right into today's topic. What are some of the most frequently asked questions I get when it comes to engineering. During my university days, I did a lot of mentoring to my family and friends. Many of them has asked me on my advice on what it means to be an engineer. Some of them are even engineers themselves now. Also, during my university days, I did tutoring as a part-time job so that I had some money to pay for my tuition. I was also a campus tour guide, taking prospective new students through the campus and my favorite part was touring them through the engineering department. So today I want to make this video to tell you what I told everyone else when I was mentoring and tutoring. Also, I have another great video of another frequently asked question about the difference of computer science and software engineering. If you have that question as well, make sure you hit the link below. Let's get started on some of the questions I get asked most about my engineering. Before we begin, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I've been practicing engineering for five years now. I got my degree in electrical engineering from the University of Calgary. My current job is an embedded engineer who automates the supply chain fulfillment centers or warehouses. Some of my day-to-day -day tasks include writing code for the brains of the robots. These robots are designed to go and retrieve products from shelves, just like you going to Walmart and grabbing a box of cereal. But this is done by a robot and it brings it to a human person. Our company is very similar to the Amazon robots. Yep, those are very similar robots to what we do. So you might ask, why did I choose engineering? Some of the things I really like doing with my hands is building Lego. Back when I was younger, I've always dreamed about wireless electricity and transferring power from one source to another so that you'll never have to plug in your cell phone ever again. I've always thought to myself, if I could receive a 3G signal from a tower far away, why can't I also receive electricity? One thing is for sure, I don't like blood, so doctor was definitely out of the question. At the end of the day, what happened was that I blended my electrical engineering degree with my computer programming skills to become an embedded engineer. Perfect blend! So what is engineering? One of the simplest ways to explain engineering is this video about differential steering. So engineers had to find a way to connect both rear wheels to the engine without sliding and slipping on turns. The device which makes this possible is a part of the rear axle. It is called the differential. It is a very simple idea, but if you think back in the day, they lived without a differential. So for someone to invent it, wow, what a game changer. This video also is a great way to demonstrate how an engineer thinks. They see a problem of the tire slipping and then they invent a differential to solve this problem. This is what engineers do. One of the things that we do is that we take a scientific approach and then we take this approach and apply it to a real life problem. So engineering is really applied sciences. This leads me to the sole definition of engineering. It is the use of science, technology, and math to solve problems. The word engineer came from the Latin word engineer and the word in ingenium which means to create, generate, and contrive a device using cleverness. Engineering started with four main branches mechanical, chemical, civil, and electrical. Today engineering has branched into many disciplines including aerospace, 
biochemical, computer, software, and even environmental. This leads me to my second question that I've received most. What does an engineer do? Engineers are everywhere. You might not know that they are your neighbors, or you might be working beside one. Did you know that you are most likely using a product designed by an engineer? This camera, for example, that is recording this video was probably designed by an engineer. Engineers design things from the molecular level, like nanotechnology, at the macro level, like bridges, skyscrapers, and chemical plants. Even all the way up to the galactic level, like the space shuttle and planetary exploration. How about the virtual level? You can do things like writing code, working on RAM, and even making electricity flow through transistors. Engineers are designers, creators, mathematicians, scientists, and problem solvers all at once. We start off with an idea, then we make sure the science works out. We calculate the limits, then we write it down on paper so that others can understand how to realize this idea. We are artists, no? We are engineers. We are artists, pirates. What the cooks are we? Question number three. Are you suited to be an engineer? I highly recommend that you try out the Myers-Briggs test. It is a personality test and I will leave a link down below. I won't tell you right now which personality you will need to be an engineer, but you should take it. And I guarantee you, in the career section of the test, it will tell you if you are suited to be an engineer. Even if the results come back saying that you are not an engineer, Work towards it if you really want to. Understand the attributes an engineer needs to have and work towards it. Also, remember that engineering has a lot of career paths, so even if you're not very technically strong, don't forget that there are many areas that engineering, some of the options that engineers are in is designing, sales, finance, and even project management. So, don't give up. I still highly recommend that you become an engineer. Question number four, what is the workplace of an engineer like? My engineering job has a lot of hands-on work. It definitely gives you a great balance between everything. For example, my career is 70% writing code where I have to sit down at a desk and write code. 25% of it is testing, so I have to go to a test area and test the robots and 5% of it is going to customer sites to support our product. Going to site for me can be sometimes in the same city, going out of the country, maybe eventually going out of this planet. SpaceX anybody? One of the greatest things about my company is that it offers free drinks, gives you free trail mixes, and every Friday we are allowed to drink beer at the office. It is a pretty sick setup and a great place to work for. You are also surrounded by a lot of intellectual people so you can get advice on anything including engineering and even life itself. I would also like to surround myself with great people like you. Make sure you smash that like button and comment below so I can check out your channel. Keep surrounding yourself with great mentors like myself by hitting that subscribe button. This makes sure that you get new videos about engineering, real estate investing, and tips on budgeting as a dad as soon as it becomes available. Comment below what your questions are about engineering. Let's get right into the next question, which is the top 15 employers of engineers. Number 15, the L'Oreal Group. It is a personal care company. Number 14, Shell an oil and gas company. Number 13, Coca-Cola, a drinks company. Number 12, Johnson & Johnson, a consumer goods company. Number 11, Procter & Gamble, another consumer goods company. Number 10, Sony, an electronics and a semiconductors company. Number 9, Samsung, a trading company that turned into an electronics company. Number eight, Siemens, a medical device company. Number seven, Intel, a computer processor company. Number six, General Electric or GE, a light bulb and an electric motors company. Number five, IBM, a computer research company 
that has developed many standards over its lifetime. Number four, the BMW Group, a car manufacturing company that makes premium cars. Number three, Apple, who pioneered things like the iPod and the iPhone. Number two, Microsoft, the famous operating system that you use on your computer every day. And number one, Google, the search engine company. I hope you enjoyed my list of top 15 companies who hire engineer. Make sure you comment below what your favorite company is, even if it wasn't listed. Let's move on to the next question. Question number six. What is some good advice to give engineering students? I tell many starting out students of engineering to always surround yourself with friends who will keep you along your degree. Engineering isn't easy and if you surround yourself with friends who don't have good work ethics and you pick those work ethics up, do you think that companies will hire you? Many times during your studies, you're going to feel frustrated, misunderstood, and make poor decisions. So I give you these quick tips. Don't make rash decisions. Go seek help from a counselor or your parents. Even if you must, find a good tutor or a mentor. Do you know how many times I hear these complaints? Oh, I can't understand my professor. Oh, my professor sucks at teaching and his exams are so hard. The best thing to do is to drop my course. If you're not doing well in the course, don't give up. So then you might ask my next most frequently asked question. What is it like to be an engineer? As an engineer, there will be times when you'll feel frustrated, misunderstood, or simply give up and make bad decisions. Just remember, as an engineer, these are technical problems. The math will sort itself out eventually. We take scientifically proven methods and concepts and apply it to a real life problem to do work. One of the examples I constantly give is the Windows search. Before, even on Windows 96, you would get a little search icon from the start menu to search for files. It was a very slow and hard to use idea. As technology has gotten better and science has researched more concepts, they invented an idea called the binary search algorithm. The binary search algorithm is currently the fastest search algorithm to search through many files. So what engineers did at Microsoft was to take this binary search algorithm and implement it into their search function. Now in the start menu, you could just type in a search key and almost immediately with all your files that relate to those terms pop up. Man, that is true engineering right there. Now it is for your generation to find the next problem and solve it. So you might ask with all these problems, should I become an engineer? Well, that leads me to the last question. Should you become an engineer? My answer is try that Myers-Briggs test and see if your personality fits an engineer. There is a list of things that you should enjoy already before you consider pursuing a career in engineering. This list is number one, critical thinking, visualization, and analytical abilities. Number two, attention to detail. Number three, communication skills. Number four, STEM attitude, science, technology, engineering, and math skills. Number four, project management skills. Number six, leadership and teamwork. Number seven, creativity and resourcefulness. And finally, number eight, emotional intelligence. Well, I hope you enjoyed my frequently most asked questions about engineering. If you like to hear more budgeting, engineering, or real estate tips, please leave a comment for what you want to hear. Smash that like button, subscribe button, and be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I post new videos every week on Sundays from the Ash Management Group, this is Daddy Deck, saving you money.